Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Hollow Knight on the PC. We are at the uh, top of the abyss right now, uh, having just gotten the Shade Cloak and uh, trying to track down the third uh, mask or whatever that, that we need to find. Uh, so when I got to the top of the abyss, this chick was waiting for me. Ghost, I see you face the place of your birth and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny, then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world's stasis or face the heart of its infection. I'd urge you to take that harder path, but what end may come, the decision rests with you. What is this game about? I don't know. I don't know. This'll do. It's beautiful. We are going to the Queen Station? If that's what it said? Yes, yes, we are. All right, and from there, we're finally going to go through that, uh, that fog gate that we could never get past, which is in Fog Canyon. Uh, whoa! I didn't even know you could do that. Ugh. Okay, right, we still don't have a map because it's hard to get the map. Oh, this is the bank lady. Screw you. All my money is tied up in gold bricks. Uh, where the hell am I going? That was cool. I think we want to go this way and then up and then right. Die, fool. It's pretty exciting. Been waiting a while to do this one. This guy's been waiting here for a long time. We did it. We did it. We're on the other side. I wonder if speedrun involves, like, glitching through that or something. I'd be impressed. Glitch through this. Oh, God. Oh, as odd as much of Hollowness can be, there's a whole new level of strangeness about these caves. Did you see that dark gate below? It's quite unsettling to be near. I did my best to avoid it. Fortunate for me, I found another route in. Though I did end up a little singed after wading through some acid. Acid. I will purchase your map, sir. Oh yeah, there's that face. It's a real alien, dude. Alrighty. I 
Ow. Luckily, I do not get singed. And now we're finally on the other side. We actually could have uh, gotten to this point without needing the cloak, because you can come in from the Fungal Waste or the Forgotten Crossroads, apparently. Or, well, definitely the Fungal Waste. I remember reading about that. I just figured it wasn't important enough. Where the hell's our nearest bench? Should I be concerned about that? Probably. Wonder if we'll have to fight a giant jellyfish. Alright, let's do it. Doesn't this kingdom just abound with surprises? A building atop an acid lake. Despite the sight, I can't help but feel... familiarity? Something stirs in my mind, though I can't yet tell what. I thought it my lust for discovery that led me here, but now there seems something else. This building beckons me. Hmm. Can feel it calling. Dare I head in? Hmm. Yes. That's what I plan on doing. Teacher's Archives. Look at this shit. Hey, bench! Excellent. Hold up. I, uh, I got another notch. I mean, the compass is really useless right now for this area. Hmm. <clears throat> Quick slash could be good. I think I'll take this. It gives me two extra hearts. I can't you know, heal them, but still. More health. Hmm. Right. Clear the way. Third yolk of absence outer shell or gate contain light and vessel and mag and sound and withdraw. What? Honestly, <laughs> this sounds like a comment that I would get on one of my videos. Probably one of the Cthulhu Mythos videos. That's, that's pretty much a word-for-word -word comment. I think they stole it from my comment section. Fuck. I knew it. Um, um, um. I could see this fight being a lot worse if you didn't have the uh, acid immunity. Because then you couldn't fall into the acid. Holy shit. Am I even doing anything? Oh, dude! You done did it! Why are you better than I am? Dude, kill it! Stab it! 
What are you waiting for? This is your chance. Is he speaking Spanish? I think we're doing okay. It doesn't seem too difficult. Just stab him. Why are you waiting so long? And you're just speaking gibberish. Or Spanish, I'm not sure. Oh, nice timing. Do we get him? This is one of the easiest bosses if we did. Okay, thanks, bro. Tank full with charged Luma flies. Fascinating. Of absence, their abundance, shell, outer, or inner place in absence, their void, liquid, substance, a weave, absence, inner. Okay. Hmm. Hello. Something glows within the tank. Let's bust it up. Oh. Did she call you too then? I realize it's no coincidence we arrived together. Though much of my memory is blank, this place I recall. Within these chambers, the teacher sought to store the kingdom's knowledge, and at its core, she stored herself. To save Hollowness, the teacher willingly became a seal but upon herself, she enacted an additional protection. Though I cannot recall its happening, I played a part in that feat. She called me here now to reverse that protection, all in aid of you. Oh. Do not hesitate. The choice to reform was hers, not mine. She knows what she would do and seems to welcome it. Then let us do it. Kill that bitch. Charge slash. Okay, charge slash. Alright, I want to end it with charge slash. Yeah. Whatever the hell's going on in this game, I'm gonna kill it. The madam's life is extinguished, and with it her seal breaks. It's a heavy thing you attempt, but I've seen your prowess up close, and she too believed you capable. Be on your journey, then, and allow me rest a time. With the deed complete, I begin to feel my age. Sure, man, whatever you want. Except I have to get the hell out of here. I don't suppose there's a shortcut. I 
sure doesn't look like it. Alright, so from here we have to... Let's go to the left. And then from there... We can... I don't know where the hell I am. It says there's a station down here. I don't know if there is. Oh, there it. Yeah, of course. Just oh. No, not that. She, she never did anything. So from here, we are going to go back to, let's go back to Dirtmouth. Why not? Why not? Yeah. You don't have anything to say about all the things I've done? You're a cheeky bastard. Um... That was a pretty good purchase, eh? I get more soul. You buy an elegant key. Other than that, probably nothing. Unless I can buy three more health fragments. Oh, that's two. If the third one costs a thousand, we're golden. Yeah, we got it. That's good. That's a good way to spend your money. Fuck, I forgot it's four. Shit. Never mind what I said. Ignore everything. Anyways, uh, let's do it. So now you can see what the Forgotten Crossroads looks like. Yeah, it's covered in infection. So it's got all these orange bubbles. And... We're gonna redo that. <laughs> Forgot those things explode. Okay. And there's, yeah, so there's some enemies are changed and others are kind of really different. Makes and some places are like closed off. Nice. Hmm. Nice. 
Thanks. Vessel, though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hollow Nest will be whole again. Okay. But what's the final boss? Oh. Oh, he's looking at me. Look at that. See it? See him looking at me? It's cool. Why are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. We can attack something? Okay, we'll attack it. You're free, bro. Oh my gosh. Here it is. The Hollow Knight. Oh, you thought it was you the whole time, but it's really the final boss. need to heal. Oh, he's teleporting. Teleporting piece of shit. Right, 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 right. I need a... There we go, I needed that. Fuck. Oh my god. He's got some freaking cool attack. Phase three. Oh, he's doing some bloodborne shit. Oh my god, he's doing some bullet hell shit. Watch it. Shooting egg yolks at me. Watch it. He's not too good about the aerial, de aerial defense. I don't know if he knows that I'm up here. What the fuck? Damn it. Outranged it. Shit. Shit. Take the heal where you can get it. Fuck, my timing. Phase four. I think he's getting pretty haggard. Oh, fuck, I bounced it out of him. will die. Boom! Oh, okay. Jesus.
All right. That was, uh, that was Hollow Knight. Uh, well, first of all, that boss was a little easy. Um, he needed, he needed to have some sort of counterattack for being, for some sort of aerial counterattack, because that was just ridiculous. I mean, I should not have been able to bounce that many times, and his only counterattack is occasionally he, like, shoots up into the air, or he, he did, he did that, that, like, pillar fire attack, but... Anyways, anyways, um, yeah, I really like that game. I know I did not explore everything, not even close, um, but I, I never, I, I don't do that, so it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I don't know if I've even explored everything in Dark Souls, so, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, I think if I had played that, in 2017, it probably would have been in my top five. I think I liked it better than, like, Mario Odyssey. Um, just, like, visually, that this game is just incredible. It really is. And, and I know, like, it's it didn't, like, just come out or anything. I, like, I should have been aware of this. But... All I really knew was like the first area, like the Forgotten Crossroads. That's really all I knew about it. But later on, like there's some, the City of Tears, especially where like just a gorgeous area with the rain falling and on the, like the glass windows. Um, the, the Ancient Basin and the Abyss are really like visually cool areas. There's a bunch of unique areas in their game. Uh, it does have some sh shitty areas, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and the combat is really satisfying. Um, like if I hadn't, hold on, what does this say? Well done on achieving this great feat. You pers persevered and you triumphed. We hope you enjoyed yourself in the world of Hollow Knight. We'll meet again soon on the road ahead. Now does it? 59%, that's not bad. Actually, that's like a D or something. I guess that is pretty bad, but... Oh, Steel Soul Mode. No shade, no reviving. Death is permanent. Jesus Christ. Wow. So... Okay, so they do put me right before the final boss. Okay, so I could go and do the Colosseum because the I, I really did like the combat. Um, the movement at first was pretty lame. Like I, I really actually was not feeling the game that much until I got the uh, the the wall jump, the mantis claw, whatever the wall jump, um, and then from then on I was hooked. Like it, the game started to feel really good. Um, and so, yeah, I just cranked out these videos, uh, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I would probably say overall it's better than Ori and the Blind Forest. I think, I think Ori and the Blind Forest is a lot more, uh, I don't know why I'm comparing the two, but they're, they're just two recent sort of Metroidvania-esque games that I enjoyed. Um, I think Ori and the Blind Forest is a lot more accessible to a broader crowd. Um, I, I never felt difficulty that crazy in Ori. And Hollow Knight, the fights, some of the boss fights get really intense. Like, you have to really be on your game. Uh, they've got the optional fights in there that, uh, Jesus, uh, really fucking intense. Um, but I think overall, I probably prefer Hollow Knight just for the aesthetic, um, you know, the whole theme, um, and the combat is far more satisfying in Hollow Knight, um, which is not, I mean, it's not any sort of like, oh, every game needs good combat, but, uh, I like it, and so, yeah, 
I I sadly overlooked Hollow Knight when it when it came out, but um, yeah, I would say I'm a big fan. Uh, the plot is very confusing. I think you're not really meant to like. There's a plot section here on Wikipedia. There's three endings. Yeah, so there's three endings. I don't know if I should spoil it for you, but you've already watched this whole series, so... Um... So the player knight remembers that they themselves are a failed vessel. Rejected in favor of the true Hollow Knight by the king that was somehow able to escape the abyss. Okay, so basically it's all about this infection, which is what you saw at the end there with all the orange. The king, desperate to find a cure, began to experiment with the void, the dark, endless energy that lay in the abyss. Using it, he hoped to construct a vessel, an artificial entity designed without a will to be tainted by the radiance. What? and empty enough to contain the source of the infection inside his body. One such vessel was deemed worthy enough and dubbed the Hollow Knight to be the protector of Hollow Nest. It was sealed inside the temple with the infection source and the dreamers, blah, blah, blah. They maintain the magical seals. The Pale King suddenly vanished without a trace and the Hollow Knight's body was eventually ravaged by the infection and it began leaking out of the temple's depths. Hollow Nest fell into ruin. Okay, so then we were a failed version of that vessel that was meant to contain the infection. And we somehow escaped the abyss. So that, at the bottom of the abyss, that was other versions of us. We were just like another copy or whatever. I was right. Um... And we somehow managed to escape the abyss. And then the dreamers wanted us to defeat the Hollow Knight and become the new Hollow Knight. So that we could continue to contain the infection. Because that's what's going on. The other Hollow Knight is leaking the infection all over the place. So we want to recontain it. Whereas the chick... That we kept running into. She wanted us to... Destroy the source of Hollow Nest Infection once and for all. So the three possible endings... We got the, the first one, obviously. We absorbed the infection, we became the new vessel... And... The play, the temple was resealed. The second ending occurs if the player is able to collect a special item before fighting the Hollow Knight. Halfway through the battle, Hornet arrives, that's the girl, to offer assistance and briefly holds the Hollow Knight at bay before she's knocked unconscious. The ending then plays out like the first, except Hornet is sealed in with the Player Knight and her mask is used as a seal upon the temple door. Well, that would mean that the door would never open. Since she's in there with us. That's pretty fucked up. Um, the third ending occurs if the player collects the special item and uses their Dream Nail ability to enter the Hollow Knight's mind when Hornet arrives to help. Here, the Player Knight can challenge the Radiance directly. What the fuck is the Radiance? Uh... I'm looking. Oh, it's a deity-like force that ruled over bug kind, trapping them in subservience and without will. Oh, so it's basically God. It's bug God. So you go and fight bug God directly, and you summon the darkness of the abyss to help. And that's how you just wipe out the infection for good. As the darkness from the temple fades, Hornet wakes to find the player knight's shell broken and empty, implying it has sacrificed itself and returned to the void. <laughs> I guess that's, like, the best ending, right? But, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, the plot, it's like a Dark Souls plot. It's like, you don't know what the hell's going on when you play through it, but 
you look it up after and you're like, oh, that's a pretty interesting plot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bottom line, very entertaining game. Um, yeah, not much else to say, really. It's just uh, controls amazingly well. It's very satisfying to do combat. Um, you know, the, the difficulty, if you're just doing the main story, you're just doing, playing through the game and you're not worrying about the really crazy optional bosses, I think the difficulty is tuned fairly well, except for the final boss. You know, I'm fairly average, especially for something like this. And, you know, there was times that I died, but overall I, I felt good about the, the difficulty and and playing through um, some cool abilities. The movement was good. It was all good. Just a good game, except for bug nightmare spider hell thing. That was that was no good. Leave that shit out. Um, but I, I recommend it. Yeah, I recommend playing it for yourself. It's apparently coming out for the Switch uh, at some point early this year. So there's an option. Um, I guess this is the first game this company's ever done. It was like a Kickstarter thing. But that's a hell of a first showing for a company. Like, that's really, really good. Um, I mean, I'd love to see what they have coming up next. But, you know, if they announce Hollow Knight 2, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, there's apparently two expansion content. It's both free. Do I even have that installed? I must, right? It would just be automatically thrown in. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, check it out. It's not that expensive. You know, it's got good length. I mean, uh, how many? Let me see. I want, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. How many episodes was this? Like, uh, eight, eight or nine? Maybe nine. Maybe this is the ninth episode. So, just doing bare minimum, you're looking at like nine or ten hours or something around that mark. Um, and there's a lot to do in there. I, I, you'll get your money's worth. I think it's a great game. I'm sad that uh, I overlooked it at first. I'm, I apologize. Uh, I thank whoever told me to check it out. I think that was Satan, right? I think he told me to check it out. So, good on you. Great game. Would be in my top five for 2017. And, uh, yeah. All right, so... Game you just finished watching is Hollow Knight, and I will see you fine folks around.